Guess what? Bubba's back. Bubba, your goal was 10 career wins. This is number 10. What's the new goal? You got to remember, my goal was was, was very simple. Uh, make the PGA Tour. Nobody thought Bubba Watson from Baghdad, Florida would ever get to 10 wins. Let's be honest. Without lessons, head case, hooking the ball, slicing the ball, can't putt, you know? So yes, I got to set a new goal. Let's just say it that way. Baghdad, Florida, population slightly less than 1,500. A tiny village on the outskirts of the town of Milton, both suburbs of Pensacola at the far west end of the Sunshine State. It is the birthplace of one Gary Lester Watson Jr., affectionately known as Bubba. Bubba here, Bubba here, Bubba here again. <laughs> a small town, you can make it. You can all make it. Woo! Baghdad is where Bubba attended schools and, of course, learned the game of golf before moving on to the University of Georgia and a successful and oftentimes emotional 10-win career on the PGA Tour. Bubba Watson, your champion here at the Travelers. My dad took me to the golf course when I was six years old and told me to take this nine iron and, and beat it down the fairway. And, you know, now look at me. I mean, after beating a nine iron down the fairway, coming from Baghdad, Florida, could never dream this. They say home is where the heart is. And for Bubba Watson, that rings oh so true. I trust the town. I trust Pensacola. It raised me. It helped me mold me. Home. It is where he met his lifelong friend and business partner, Randall Wells. As kids, the two did everything together, and to a large extent, still do. We're going over to Stonebrook, the golf course I grew up at. So me and my buddy are riding in the back of the truck. That's what country folks do. Buckle up, OK? I've known him, gosh, long time. We moved in, I don't know, maybe on like a Thursday and like Saturday morning, there's a knock knock on the door. And uh, we played golf that day and uh, have been friends ever since. So, um, you know, it was just, I guess he came with the house. <laughs> he was valedictorian of the high school. I was a little lower down the list. And so our dream in high school was, how do we become a business? We put a number out there a number that we didn't think could be reached. We both truly believed that he was going to be successful in golf and I was going to be successful in the business world and kind of hard sometimes to sit back and realize that it's kind of come true. By 2014, they both had indeed become successful. Bubba had been on the tour for eight years and racked up seven PGA Tour victories, including two Masters titles. But with all the fame and fortune, he never forgot his roots. He always came back home to Baghdad to share in his success. So this is for you. And also, a check for $15,000. $15,000 to uh, Hobbs Middle School. Here's a check for $35,000 for, for Milton High School. Once he won the Masters, I was already doing a lot of work for him. And the Bubba called me up and he said, you know, hey, why don't you just come to work for me? The first real sort of endeavor was the baseball team. He was at the baseball field after he won the Masters in 2014. And an offhand comment was made by the original, you know, sole owner at the time, Quint Studer. Randall Wells approached me and he said, you know, would, would you be serious about letting Bubba be part of the ownership group? And I said, you know, I, I think it'd be great. But then he said, well, he really wants to be more than just write a check. I mean, he wants to be involved. 
So in January of 2015, Bubba became co-owner with Studer of the Pensacola Blue Wahoos, an affiliate of the Cincinnati Reds baseball team. That's as far as I can throw it. It was a really great marriage, because I didn't want somebody just for their name. I really wanted somebody who really wanted to be engaged in the operation, understand the operation. You've been doing such a great job. I'm yeah, proud of you. Thank you. It's a privilege, guys. As a young kid, I've always wanted to be a part of a, a team. I've always wanted to be an owner. It's fun watching y'all and supporting y'all. And I, you know, I want nothing for the best for y'all to move on up. That would be the dream for all of us. Thank y'all. Since he bought part of the team, he does all our communication. I mean, because he, he understands, you know, he understands our employee engagement. He understands our results. He understands something called net promoter score, which is how our fans feel. You're welcome. Appreciate you to know that, don't you? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Appreciate you. It's real interesting because then we went into the candy store together. Spree. I want the one with spree. You're not getting one. <laughs> yes, so I am. The idea is first to get businesses that create a buzz, a friendly atmosphere, creates a few jobs, um, and shows the town that I'm part of the town, I'm here. We're just trying to make a, a place where people can um, come and hang out and enjoy. Who doesn't love sugar? Bubba likes sugar, but he absolutely loves cars. In my short marriage of 13 years now, I've wasted some money on cars, maybe 40 cars. So cars have been a big part of my life. I love it. I love learning about cars. I love learning about business. I don't even know the first time the idea of getting in the car business came up, but I was very familiar with the Sansing family, and I knew that their values aligned heavily with uh, Bubba's values. Hi, I'm Sandy Sansing, here with the zoo with the lemurs. Who could put you I just knew Sandy Sansing from the commercials. And back in the old days, he used to go to the zoo and he'd ride an elephant for the car commercials. He'd do all this crazy stuff. And so now I love the man, right? Because he did some fun stuff. Again, kind of a cold call. Called up Sandy. I think the first time I called him was actually to, to see if we could get a loaner car. <laughs> he said, hey, I got this opportunity in Milton where you grew up. Would you want to be a part of it? Hi, I'm Sandy Sansing. And I'm Bubba Watson. Bubba, wouldn't you agree that driving home our brand new Chevy feels just as great as winning on the PJ Tour? I sure do. From the time he joined the PGA Tour in 2006, Bubba and his wife Angie had bounced around homes in four different states. They adopted two children along the way, son Caleb and daughter Dakota. But in 2016, Bubba heard Pensacola calling. Bubba called me up one day and said, you know, I think I'm, I'm ready to come home. I thought there was an opportunity for businesses, some fun things like the baseball team, and then helping. I wanted to help my own city, and so coming back here is a big part of, of helping and, and being a part of the community and letting the community know that I, I love them and, and I'm thankful. In the end, Bubba realized, and, I, and truthfully I realized even, that um, no matter what happens, whether the businesses succeed or fail, doing it in our hometown meant so much more to us. Now a permanent member of the Pensacola community, Bubba is taking what he has learned from his business partners to bigger and better places. How are you gonna show Pensacola you love them, you respect them, you, um, you're there for them, you care about them? Um, because what they did for me, they helped me mature and become the player I am today at golf. And so when I was coming back, there were just talks about a children's hospital. This hospital is gonna cost millions upon millions. And I said, I can help that. I will tell you, I've seen people that act like they understand it. Bubba is who we think he is. He's a guy that cares deeply, deeply uh, about people. Bubba was very fortunate to have found his wife, Angie, who shares a lot of his values. Um, they are an extremely generous family. They've supported you know, more charities than I could ever name. Yeah, uh, but the other thing is they're remarkably consistent in their values. That's why I've always valued uh, Bubba and Angie's friendship so much. I think that the whole thing of life is putting others before ourselves. Deep down, all of us are hardwired to, to come together as a community and build each other up. This is gonna be the biggest and, and best children's hospital. So I wanted to help them. They surprised me with a the road. They said, Bubba Watson, drive. 
it's amazing that they would think of that. I, that's not why we do it. We don't do it for to get a road named after us or a hospital named after us. We do it because we want to give. I am thrilled to announce the Watson family gift today of $2,100,000. It was a no-brainer for me and my wife. And my wife's going to be on the hospital board, putting my name with the Children's Hospital, being a part of that. I mean, you're given for a lifetime. You're given for beyond that lifetime. People see me as a, a goofy 38-year-old um, that does dumb videos, but I have bigger dreams. And, um, you know, winning golf tournaments is one dream. But being able to do this with my wife, with the community, A community that um, that raised me. The city of Pensacola means everything. I just want to say thank y'all. Bubba Watson is indeed home again, and the new goal, well, perhaps that was set long ago. Bubba probably makes a bigger difference than he even thinks, and and I think Angie also. I think as a couple, to come back to a community, to actually be involved in the community. But I think Bubba's whole goal is to be a great human being that happens to be a golfer, much more than just being a great golfer.